well, it's not really a disconnect if you're a uh, candidate for public office on the Republican side or you are a Republican office holder. And the reason, simply, Alicia, is because to the other side of that poll question you asked, there is, of course, the majority that are against those draconian, crazy, outside of the mainstream policy proposals. But there is the side that ends up supporting that. And that is usually the sweet spot for the Republican base primary voters. So really what happens is Republican candidates for office, Republican elected officials who want to stay in office, are catering to that fringe element of the base primary. And you couple that with a state like Florida, which unfortunately just has not been as competitive at the statewide level recently, Republicans are acting with a sense of immunity. There's a sense of uh, liberation, if, if you will, that they are not going to have to be held accountable for these positions in an election that they are running in here in Florida and some of these local offices. Nationally, that's a different matter. And there's a reason why Republicans have not won the popular vote, but for one time in something like the last 20 years in a national election for president. But in these more localized elections or in some of these states, sprinkle in a little bit of gerrymandering, you lead to this outcome. You, sp you sprinkle in a lot of gerrymandering. You are generous with the ger gerrymandering, right? Because th that's part of the thing. I, I understand sort of the inanity of my question, which is, the question only makes sense if you are operating on an even playing field, right? But if you're operating in a system where a minority has a majority stake, then there is no way for all of this to make sense and to be fair. The problem, as you and I know in part, is that you don't go door to door talking with people about gerrymandering, right? Like, that is not the way that you turn people out. And yet, so many of those issues are what are core to the policies that we're watching get passed in a state like yours. You know, it really is, but you can't discount also the cynicism of the Republican project, Alicia, when it comes to these positions, because part of their calculus also is, by the time that the voters vote, that isn't going to be the dominant issue. In this case, you know, they're betting that the economy is going to have problems going into the electoral season next year, and that that will kind of blanket out any cultural concerns about some of these other issues. Now, I don't necessarily think that's gonna be the case. I think it's a bad risk and a bad gamble, but it is certainly how they think very cynically. It was what we've seen the Republican posture be over the last 30 years, even in response to the drubbing that they got in the 2008 election, where they lost the House, they lost the Senate by 60 votes. Their policy was to triple and quadruple down, and it ended up paying off for them two years later when they captured back the House of Representatives. So unless they feel accountability, they're just gonna keep pressuring and leaning into this extremist position.